Hi guys! Super, super, super excited to launch a new series today uh, with a fun, quirky name that I came up with, Sasti Behan. <laughs> so if you guys have been following me for a while, you know what Sasti Behan is. Basically, it is uh, a dupe of a product which is like expensive and uh, sometimes the dupes are better, sometimes the dupes are not as good, but like they work if you're on a budget. So yeah, this is for all you guys that are on a budget or don't really want to spend on a high-end product. These are some things that I've discovered that are similar to high-end products and can be used. So, welcome to Sasti Ban. First up, we have one of my favorite products that I use all the time, which is pretty much the only thing on my face even in this video. It's my Burt's Bees Lip Balm. Okay, so this is the one I'm wearing. Uh, this is Burt's Bees uh, in the shade Rose. Officially, I think in India, only Sephora has Burt's Bees and otherwise you randomly get it on Amazon. It's like mixed pricing because as I said on Amazon, it's like, you know, approximately I think 2000 for two of the same ones. So say 1000 bucks a balm, which is expensive. Um, and I found a similar shade in the Maybelline Baby Lips. Okay, so this is uh, Broadway Red in the Alia Loves New York Limited Edition. It is very similar to this. It's not the same. Obviously, this is not the same formulation wise, but this could be similar color wise. I'm going to show you. I'm going to wipe off the top one and like put this on so you can see. It's like the same. So as you can see right now, the top is the Maybelline one. This is Burt's Bees. There's a very, very slight difference, nothing major. Currently, the top lip is the Maybelline Baby Lips one. Uh, the bottom lip is my uh, Burt's Bees uh, lip balm. You can't tell the difference really because uh, it's pretty, pretty similar, especially from far. And I will say this, the formulation is drastically different. Like Burt's Bees is thinner um, and less balmier this is more balmy uh, mixing the two now <laughs> for the rest of the video um so yeah price wise huge huge jump so if you take birth squeeze at around thousand rupees a balm this is 175 rupees so Similar shade uh, but not the same texture Burt's Bees ki sasti behen Maybelline baby lips up next on my list, we have the Clinique Moisture Surge uh, Moisturizer. Now, I don't have that currently. Uh, I have a bottle at my other house, but I don't have it here. I uh, didn't really want to buy one right now for the video because it is pricey and uh, I'm not currently using it. Weber is using it, so he's got it there. This is the one. Uh, you've seen me use it for years. I use it on and off a lot. Uh, it is pretty expensive. It's 75 ml for 3500 rupees now i found a very very similar feeling product in a much cheaper range and that is this so this is the dermafeek uh, cell by cell 3 hydration uh, aqua cloud hydrating cream that's a long name uh, but yeah it really really does the job so um, the first time I tried this was at the Cosmo Blogger Awards, I think, what, a year, two years ago. And uh, I really, really felt it was very light, very hydrating and very, had the same feel as Clinique. Now, of course, keep in mind, guys, when you're buying products uh, that are high end and there's a price difference, obviously, there's going to be a difference in uh, the product uh, quality and what you get. Uh, but similar feeling so this is obviously a lighter color and that's more pinky and more hydrating and more liquidy when you apply it but i'm just gonna put this on so you get a sense of what i'm saying uh this gets absorbed exactly like that like very quickly absorbed which is what i loved about uh you know the uh aqua cloud uh, it's something that uh, i felt i really really liked in terms of hydration it hydrates a lot it gets absorbed really really quickly and of course Price point wise, it is much cheaper than Moisture Surge for someone that wants that kind of hydration, that lightness, but uh, you know, on a budget, <laughs> then I think you should try Aqua Cloud. I really, really liked it and uh, I feel like 
it's great if you're looking for a nice hydrating moisturizer that gets easily absorbed i felt like this was the one closest to a uh, moisture surge that i've tried in a very long time as you can see absorbed completely no residue uh, no sticky feeling it's really light really fresh like a great summer moisturizer the other thing i love about this is it's also great as a body cream like if you want to use it as a hand cream that's what i did if you want like a cheaper alternative like you don't want to obviously spend on a really high end cream for like as a nice hand cream this is a really good option for that i used this as a hand cream for very long and i really really loved it because i don't like hand creams that are very sticky right so this is exactly that gets absorbed really really easily and uh, you don't really feel you know chip chip okay so clinique moisture surge 75 ml for 3500 rupees this is 250 grams for 805 rupees so you can see by the scale of the container that this is going to last you a while uh, which is why i feel like this is a great sasti behan because it does the job it's great for like a lot of like multi purpose use like i wouldn't be like stingy when i use this or worry about using it on my hands because it's sastiya than the clinic one to ye hai dosto clinic ki sasti behan up next we have this guy you saw this in my last vlog this is the sephora nail polish remover ki sasti behan which you see here i've obviously not bought this because i it is really expensive and i remember seeing the sephora one first time when i was in new york and that was when i realized that oh my god this is amazing and it's really easy to use right so it's like a uh, sponge coated in nail polish remover and, and you just dunk your finger in and you know shake it around and uh, it removes the polish really really quickly and uh, when i saw it then i thought oh my god this is so amazing but then i also thought this is so expensive so uh, i think for about 75 ml it is 1400 rupees in india which is really really expensive for a nail polish remover sorry i really don't care that much about my nails and uh, i would actually use any nail polish remover i just find this really really convenient right like you don't need cotton you don't need anything you just put your finger in and you you know wiggle it around and obviously we know nike is the queen of making dupes and copy people so they've done a very good job with this one this is the masaba by nike nail polish remover um and uh, it gets the job done it is not as expensive obviously this is 275 rupees for uh, 60 ml so that's pretty good in addition to this one there are many other sasti behens i think there's one by color bar there's other companies there's a few more uh going to put them here so you guys can see uh there are lots of them but i feel like this is the one i've used a lot like over the last year or so and i really really like it gets the job done as i said cost effective and um, it's good up next we have another one of my favorite products benetint you guys know how much i use benetint on my cheeks on my lips um uh, it's something i really really love and it's actually great right now with masks and stuff because it's non like transfery so it's really nice to use on your lips as well Um I really love tints you guys know that Benetint has been one of my staples for many many years but I know a lot of you keep saying that it's really unaffordable for younger people or students and we can't spend that much so benefit is pretty expensive so for 12.5 ml uh, you're paying nearly 3000 rupees for Benetint which is obviously expensive and not affordable for everyone which is why i have found iski sasti behan for you guys so this one this uh this is the dear darling tint by etude house there's also another one which is the other tint um, which i've spoken about earlier which i had said is the sasti behan of benefit in my one of my earlier videos um but i feel like this one is a better dupe of uh, like benetint because it has similar texture so if you see this is also liquidy and of course comes in many many shades which is actually a plus because that's really good um you can choose a shade that works for your skin tone and that you really really like and unlike benetint that is pretty much this and then there's other ones like cha cha tint and whatever but they're different tints like benetint is pretty much this is it like the pink one so uh going to do one cheek and one cheek to show you guys what we got so first up we're going to start with the right cheek with benetint just making my usual crosses and then you just like kind of rub it in 
So Benetton tea is actually very light, uh, very watery and less uh, pigmented like than the Etude House one you'll see. Uh, this is actually gets gives you a more flushed, natural, even kind of look, right? Like it, the more you put, uh, you can kind of build on it, but it's actually not something that you want to use a lot of because you kind of look like a tomato otherwise. Uh, so you can build on it. I'm actually putting more for the videos so that you can see it and you can register what I'm talking about uh, because it's harder to kind of see on camera because it's really, really thin. That's Benetton, which is really light, really natural. Then we have the Etude House one on my other cheek, which uh, is much more pigmented as you can see. So I'm just putting two little dots, but it's going to give me a lot more color than when it, like Benetton, right? Like this is looking like... a baboon's bum right now so you have to use very very little of this uh, as compared to your Benetton uh, just to give you a reference of what you're working with so as you can see this is looking very natural um, kind of blending in with the skin very easily this has become very very tomato red but I also use a little more to kind of show you guys um, the difference in the pigment that this is really really pigmented and this is not so highly pigmented if you see both so you can see Benetton has that light easy flush this one has a very like major pink uh, but it's also the shade that i have so i have the shade uh, pk002 uh, of course you can choose a shade that works for you guys and if you keep applying Benetton on uh, the other cheek also you're gonna keep getting like the similar kind of feel right like if you go darker you will get the same baboon bun chic look that you're looking for um if you go the, like that dark with Benetton as well but usually for me Benetton is just two crosses on each cheek and that's it um with this guy obviously you have to be very very careful and just put like one tiny dot and then you know uh work it up because otherwise you're gonna look like lal lal but if you're on a budget this is a great sassy behind of this Moving on to another one of my staples, which is going to be handy to get rid of my uh, baboon bum look as well. <laughs> it is Bioderma Sensibo Water. Now, you guys know I swear by this. I use this to remove my makeup. And again, there have been a lot of complaints from people saying that it's a little expensive. It is. So this one is actually 891 rupees for 250 ml. But it's a the Garnier uh, micellar water, okay, so both of these are basically micellar waters and they look pretty much similar. Like if you put one in the other one's bottle, you will think it's the same. Uh, also very similar looking, maybe I think that's deliberate on their end. Uh, so more people buy this as opposed to this. This is very, very affordable, 199 for 125 ml. So obviously there's a huge, huge, huge difference in price in this and this. And um, this is a cult favorite, a lot of people love it. I have used this as well like I remember once when I was traveling I had a mini bottle of this and I just wanted to take it for a day and it got all my makeup off so honestly um, I don't think it's a bad product or you know it's just more affordable and uh, this is something I use a lot because I've used it for years I have very sensitive skin it works for me I love it uh, but just to show you guys we're gonna do half and half so uh, maybe use the this one for the more stubborn one and this one for this one and uh, Let's see. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we have this one, which is the Bioderma on the right with Benetton. Uh, I don't really have any other makeup on, so um, we're only going to actually see it with this. But I have used both these with like actual proper makeup as well, and you can tell the difference. Uh, they both do take off the makeup, uh, but I just find like Bioderma less harsh in that department. So you can see both of these are kind of have the pink tint on them and uh, they are kind of doing the job and getting the stuff off. So yeah, also got some pink on my finger from the stuff. So uh, just using that as well. But you can see clearly that the pink tint has come off on both, right? Like uh, definitely has worked. Also, let's do one one lip. So maybe uh, pretty good, right? So as you can see, both have pretty much done their job, uh, and there is absolutely no 
tint or balm left on my face as you can see and um, i mean honestly in this case you can't really see a visible difference between the sasti behen and the mangi behen uh so yeah shocking but true okay folks it's time for the queen of all sasti behens it is my philips hot hair uh straightening brush okay so this can you get kiski sasti behen hai Daphne obviously okay so we've all heard of the Daphne brush and uh, I've actually tried it uh, in salons I obviously did not buy it for this video because uh, that's not the point of this video um but I have this one which is the Philips one the uh, the brush that you guys have seen in a lot of my videos now I had bought it a while ago in the lockdown so the Daphne brush is about 16000 rupees uh this Philips brush is officially I think 3500 but you get it cheaper on some sites like i saw it was cheap on amazon in places i will link all the products i've mentioned obviously in the description you can check them um so yeah this is a really like sasti sasti behen uh gets the job done now it doesn't give you a straight straight feel and of course uh we can debate about the technology between daphne and this and how daphne is better and of course that is like saying uh um, you know comparing a dyson hair dryer to a regular hair dryer there's a huge huge difference yes if you're looking for like a straightening brush that just kind of gets the job done gives you like a blow dried feel not like a poker straight feel this gets the job done so it's really really easy to use you just kind of brush your hair with it uh it has these heat settings two heat settings which is one in like a two that's it and you brush your hair with it and it gives you like a blow dried straightish feel similar to the daphne brush So convenience wise it is pretty much the same as Daphne. Um I will say it's probably le a little less effective yes if you have like thicker frizzier hair like mine like with Daphne my hair would probably be smoother and straighter this will give me more of a blow dried effect but there's a huge huge price difference guys. So um if you're looking for something on a budget this is great. So that's today's sasti behen video for you. I hope you really really like the series guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the series. If you're excited about it, your favorite dupes, all of that and then uh, what other products you want to kind of see sasti behens off as well because then I will try and find them for you. You guys know the drill. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. As I said, please 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 comment and tell me what you think about the series, your favorite dupes, all of that and I will see you guys soon. Bye.